What's good guys, Joseph Rakic here and welcome to episode number 6 of my new YouTube series, Vulcan to 100kgs. Just on the way to the gym right now, going to go train some back and biceps with one of my mates. Now, this video was actually inspired by my cameraman Tyrell. He just joined the gym uh, for the first time yesterday. <laughs> he went and he trained some back um, and he has sore arms today. So, <laughs> if the camera is a little bit wonky or a little bit shaky, that is why. Now, he's had a million questions on the gym and on diet, so I thought this is a perfect opportunity for me to film a video going over everything that I personally wish that I knew before starting the gym. So, sit tight, it's going to be a great video and you're going to learn a whole lot of stuff. Alright guys, one of the first things that I wish I knew before I started lifting was to follow a proper training split. When I first joined the gym, I was pretty much just doing back and chest every single day <laughs> because that's all I wanted, a big chest and big biceps. But now, um, after I've learned, I now follow a proper training split. So I, ch I hit each muscle group once per week and that gives me enough time for rest recovery for the muscles to grow. Tighter, close your eyes, everything's going so right. Can you feel it? We're gonna go hard until the sun rises. Second thing I wish I knew before I started lifting was to train with correct form. When I first was in the gym, um, I was pretty much just thinking, go heavier, go heavier, go heavier. But what happened, the more heavier I went, my form was less correct, and it was actually less working the muscle that I wanted to activate. So for example, biceps, I would go heavier and heavier, and my form would end up being like this. And what am I doing? I'm swinging, I'm using momentum, and I'm also using my front delt to curl it up. The most important thing that I learned from that was to lower the weight, keep the form a little bit more strict. That way we can put more stress, more activation on the muscle, therefore it'll lead to more muscle fibers ripped, which will lead to more growth. So form is super important, guys. Third thing I wish I knew before I started lifting, guys, is focus on the squeeze and contraction of the muscle. So whenever you're training a muscle, just think, squeeze, contract, as hard as you possibly can, because the more you do that, the more blood and the more muscle fibers you are going to rip. The more you do that, the more chance of muscle growth you're gonna get. What you wanna do is you wanna curl it up, squeeze, contract the muscle as hard as you can, tense it, and then lower the weight. That's going to allow you to get so much more muscle growth and it'll help you gain so much more.
Alright guys, fourth thing that I wish I knew before I started lifting was focus on the negative rep. So I see a lot of people in the gym, they're training chest or they're training biceps and they, they do the weight, they curl it up and then they just drop it down. They curl it up and they just drop it down. But they're actually missing the most important part of the lift which is the negative. When you actually control the negative, if you're lowering it down or if, for example you're doing chest and you're lowering it down slowly, controlling the negative, there's actually more muscle fibers ripped on the negative rep than the actual contraction phase. So negative reps are super important and that's why this exercise we're about to do right now, we're just focusing solely on a negative rep. So I'm gonna get my training partner Dan to literally help me curl it up and then I'm just gonna control the negative rep on the way down. He's gonna help me curl it up and then I'm gonna control the negative rep on the way down. Just so I can focus on negative stress to the muscle. All right. Fifth thing that I wish I knew before I started lifting guys was try different things and try different exercises. When I first joined the gym, I was literally doing the same stuff all the time. Barbell bench, dumbbell flies, chest dips. And that was pretty much the same thing for all my chest routines. Later on did I realize the best thing is to always change things up and to use variety. So now I'm always mixing my workouts up, doing different exercises, doing different angles, using different rep ranges, using different tempos, all trying to apply different forms of stress and tension to the muscle because that will ultimately lead to more muscle gains. So change things up, don't always follow the same exact routine. Variety is key guys if you really want to continue making progress. Alright guys, the sixth thing that I wish I knew before I started lifting was rest and recovery. How important that actually is for muscle growth. When I first joined the gym, I was training each muscle group maybe three or four times per week. Little did I know that was actually detrimental to my gains and my progress. Muscle doesn't grow when you're in the gym. When you're in the gym, you're actually breaking down the muscle tissue. Muscle grows when you are resting and recovering. So, Right now, I only train each muscle group once per week with abs and calves twice, and I find that to be superior for optimal muscle growth. So make sure you pay attention to rest and recovery. More is not always better. The muscle needs time to rest, recover, grow, and adapt. Super important. That's Tyrell. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Alright guys, <laughs> so I just got back from the gym, having chicken and rice. Alright, so the seventh thing that I wish I knew before I started the gym was follow a structured meal plan. When I first got into the gym, um, I thought it was all about training. So I'd train, but I wouldn't follow a structured meal plan. So I'd go for you know half the day without eating, and then I'd probably have something like McDonald's. So I wasn't optimally fueling my body with the calories I needed and the correct amount of protein, carbohydrates, and fats to optimally 
gain muscle at the maximum rate. So the most important thing is follow a structured meal plan where you're meeting your protein, your carb, and your fat requirements for the day. Space your meals out evenly, that way you're gonna fuel your body correctly for good workouts, and you're gonna fuel your body for good muscle growth. So that's the most important thing. Right now, I'm having my post-workout meal, which is 150 grams of chicken tenderloins and 250 grams of basmati rice. All right, guys, so the eighth thing that I wish I knew before I started lifting was not to avoid certain foods, dietary fat especially. When I first got into the gym um, and I started following you know, a diet and a meal plan, I used to avoid whole eggs because I used to think the yolk is bad, uh, full of cholesterol, and it's high in fat. So I didn't want that. I was basically just sticking to protein and carbohydrate sources. Little did I know that was a huge mistake and it definitely limited my gains. Cholesterol is actually pretty important um, for testosterone production, which is the main hormone in building muscle. Not to mention, you need dietary fat in order to build muscle. Plus, dietary fat is important for brain function, hormone regulation, like I just mentioned, testosterone production. So don't avoid certain foods um, that contain fat. Dietary fat is an important macronutrient that you do require and that is very beneficial for you in making muscle gains. So don't be scared of whole eggs, guys. Don't stick to egg whites, use the whole eggs. That's where all the vitamins and minerals are, your vitamin A, your vitamin D, your vitamin E, all your fat soluble vitamins. So next time, don't chuck away the yolks, eat them. Yeah. Alright guys, so the ninth thing that I wish I knew before I started lifting was to make sure I drink plenty of water and to stay well hydrated. Now the reason water is so important is because it helps one with muscle protein synthesis, which means you know helps you build more muscle. Not to mention a well hydrated muscle is an anabolic muscle, meaning more chance of muscle growth. Also helps you flush out all the toxins out of your body, and a well hydrated muscle is less likely to get injured. For example, less likely to have a muscle tear. So it's super important guys, drink a lot of water. I fill both of these bottles up every single day and my goal for the end of the day is to complete both of these bottles of water. So I've nearly finished this one and nearly finished this one. Now this is just a standard rule that I like to follow, but also during the day I will drink a lot more water outside this. But this is just a rule and the minimal requirements that I have set for myself. So make sure you drink plenty of water guys, stay well hydrated because it's super important for gaining muscle. Alright guys, I just got back from the supermarket, um, did a full grocery shop for the entire week, got a whole bunch of food and a whole variety of different foods. Now that brought me to my 10th thing that I wish I knew before I started lifting. And that is, no matter how good your diet is, no matter how much variety is in your diet, you're still probably not getting optimal amounts of vitamins and minerals and essential fatty acids. That's why I say it is super important to supplement with these three supplements that I'm about to show you, just so you cover all your bases. So first supplement that I say is super important and crucial for maximizing your muscle gains is a multivitamin. Um, now the brand that I use is Natrello. I use a whole foods multivitamin just so um, it's the vitamins and minerals from whole foods and not synthetically made. But I take that on a daily basis just to cover my basis. Supplement number two is omega-3 premium fish oil. This is just so I get in all my essential fatty acids. I do eat quite a bit of salmon, so there is quite a lot of essential fatty acids in my diet. But again, just so I get a little bit more, I supplement with this on a daily basis as well because they are essential. And final health supplement that I recommend you take is glucosamine. Now this one here is from the brand Doctors Best. It's also got chondroitin and MSM in it. Now this is super important for your joints, your tendons, your ligaments. And if you want to train hard and you want to train long, then this is super important and something you want to take. So you've got a long lifting career. Anyway guys, those are my three staple health supplements that I recommend you take on a daily basis. And that is something that I wish I did when I first started lifting. Obviously, all I cared about was taking creatine, taking mass gainers, taking pre-workouts. Now these are all good supplements, 
if they are needed for your specific goals. However, I missed out on the basics and I missed out on the most important. So make sure you focus on taking your essential health supplements. That way, you're gonna get much better gains, guys. All right, see that right there, guys? Yep, that right there. That is my 11th thing that I wish I knew before I started lifting. And if you haven't guessed it already, that is sleep and recovery. Super important for gaining muscle. Now, when I first got into the gym, I thought it was all about lifting weights and eating enough protein, and I skimmed on my sleep. Little did I know, sleep is super important for gaining muscle, for recovery, and for hormone production, which optimally leads to more muscle growth. So, don't skimp on sleep, guys, because you'll be skimping on gains. And don't forget, guys, if you need help achieving your dream physique, like some of these people on the screen right here, I can help you. I'm an online personal trainer. I can create you the perfect meal plan and workout program to help you achieve your physique goals. So if you are interested, click the link in the description box down below.